Welcome, welcome to Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra is also known as yogic sleep. And it is different than sleep in that we don't actually move into a REM state and such. Uh, although you can, if you like, without apology, and that's totally fine. Uh, if you find you drifted off, or even if you're snoring or anything like that, I don't want you to worry about that at all. And I will take that as a compliment on my class delivered. So the key thing with Yoga Nidra and what we aim to do is it's a body scan, but it's more of a, a specific body scan that covers, uh, I think, I think 61 points. I don't know that I'll be counting out 61 points today, but I'll come as close as I can for you. So hopefully at the end of this yoga nidra, you'll feel nice and rested and can uh, move on with your day with energy. So the key thing with meditation that people often say to me is they have a really hard time meditating because, or they might even say they're not good at meditating because it's difficult to shut the mind off. And that's why it's good to meditate because just like building our biceps, uh, we can build the strength of what we choose to think about and build the strength of our mind and our thought. And with doing so, build our strength and our chosen consciousness. So the level on which we choose to operate day to day can be more something that we steer rather than an experience that's steered for us. So hopefully everybody has turned their cell phones off and alarms and beeps and all of that. And uh, I too have been guilty of this before. So if it happens, it happens. We'll just move on through. But hopefully everything's nice and quiet and we can spend about 50 minutes going through our yoga nidra. And uh, we'll talk about our experience after. So. Let's bring our hands together and invite the thumbs to heart center. Allow the knees to fall. Chest to release. Neck to soften. And invite in a soft, easy breath through the nose, nice and slow. And exhale. So let's do that again, only this time, let's allow our mind's eye to follow the path of the breath as it moves through our body. Just as an observer, inhaling. And exhaling. Let's do that again. This time, let's actively choose where we send the path of the breath to go in our mind's eye. So we inhale through the nose, feel a soft graze in the back of the throat, releasing any tension in your shoulders and the base of the neck as you do. Softness through your back chest. Feel your lungs inflate. Pause for a moment to observe this inflate and then push that breath further down as if to move into the belly space, expanding the belly. What if we could exhale through our hips, thighs, knees, Chins, ankles, feet, toes. And our exhale left from our toes. Silly, isn't it? That's okay. Just imagine the path of the breath moving along this way. As we choose to decide where our attention goes during meditation. It strengthens the muscles of the mind 
and ultimately prevents inbound thoughts from arriving and taking place of our consciousness and awareness that maybe are less welcome than what we'd like to think of. Take a soft, easy breath. Inhaling through the nose. If you haven't already, allow your arms to fall alongside the body onto the floor. You can choose at the tops of your hands, face up or down. Some feel that the palms facing up poises us to receive what we need from the universe. And some feel bringing the palms of the hands to the earth to be grounding, help ground and center us. Perhaps from the world of movement, we can find some stillness. It's a soft, easy breath moves through you. Bring your awareness to your forehead, a little space between your brows, your third eye. And set an invitation to the universe to allow you to see what you need to see. See what you need to see. Maybe that's not even what you want to see. Maybe that's what you need to see. But I believe it's true that we all have blind spots in the background of our life. Those things that others know about us, but perhaps we don't even know about ourselves. Creating a space, just receive what we need to know. I think that can go a long way in moving us into surrender when there are some things we cannot change. We can see them and identify them and choose to surrender them. And that is what brings us closer to samadhi, bliss, or joy. Some would say nirvana. When I say surrender, I certainly don't mean to imply that we just go along with life as it arrives, anything that happens. We, in fact, have much control over our daily lives. But more in a way of the vibration that we choose to live at, the frequency of the people that we attract to us, and the grounding, fire, and movement that we allow in our day to day that equate to our reality. Take a soft, easy breath through the nose and invite this breath to the underside of the third eye. Next exhale. Lighting up indigo in color. Let's do it again. Inhaling to the third eye. And exhale. If you notice your chest or belly rise and fall with the breath, more readily moving into what we call vinyasa flow, which is an integration of the breath and the body. And it can be expressed in an athletic sort of way, but it can also be expressed just as we are now. Laying back, relaxed, comfortable. Moving our breath with the awareness of the body. As the lungs rise and fall, the belly with it. Take a nice deep breath. We'll start our yoga nidra now. The crown of the head, the top. 
opening yourself to receive all that you want and long for in this world. Creating space for this. And much like a dewy rain falling from the top of your head, feel this nurturing energy work its way down to the forehead, eyebrows, temples, wrap around to the back. And just hold this breath here for a moment. And then exhale. Let's take that soft, easy breath once again, starting from the top of the head, moving its way down, soft, dewy rain. A little further now to the eye sockets, just above the eye below, carrying its way through the bridge of the nose, releasing any tension session you may have here, through the cheeks, where the cheek meets the jaw, just in front of the ear. Breathe into this area, beginning at the top of the head, with this soft, dewy path moving its way through. Imagine as though you're exhaling out through the ears, silly as it may sound. Just in your mind's eye, visualize the color of your breath making its path through, exhaling through the ears, out. A soft, easy breath you're choosing. And this time, so we take an easy breath from the top of the head. moving down through the ears. Rather than exhaling out through the ears, let's feel a soft line of the breath move along our earlobes from the top of the earlobe to the sides, to the bottom. And just holding a gentle space for this area situated just below the earlobes. Let's give this a nurturing, tender breath. And on the exhale, release any tension or stress that you may be holding here. Inhaling and exhaling with ease. Take a soft breath once again. Same path, starting at the crown of the head and moving its way down. Embracing the base of the skull where it meets the top of the neck, this little area here. Oftentimes, so much tension tightens here. And just breathe with ease in this place. And if perhaps there is some tension in this space, allow yourself to exhale through it so there's a seam to release the stress between these two areas. Moving back to our inhalation from the crown of the head, and moving through the face. Tracing down the nose, a little space just above the lips. 
and along your legs, top and bottom, and teeth outside and inside. And if you should have your tongue pressed up against the roof of your mouth, I invite you to release it here. And just soften into this space as you exhale out through the mouth. Allowing your chin to just fall, your jaw to softly open. Take a gentle, gentle breath in through the nose. Find this path move its way through the back of the throat base of the neck. Any tension or tightness that you may be holding at the base of the neck, send this fresh energy in this place. Allow it to soften as your shoulders release away from your ears. Softly trail down your arms, elbows. Forearms, wrists, the front of your palm, the back of your hand, and each of your ten fingers, starting with your pinkies of your right hand. Your right pinky. Finger next to the right pinky. Finger next to your middle finger. Finger next to your middle finger. and your thumb. Bringing all of your awareness and attention to your thumbs, and then all of your awareness and attention to your right thumb. Little space in between your right thumb, and your index finger. And feel this energy with the fresh breath, on the exhale, float on over to the left thumb and settle here. Feel the energy swirl around the thumb. Drop down in the space between the thumb and the index finger. Moving to the index finger. And then the middle finger. And the finger beside that. To your pinky finger. Breathe. Bring all of your awareness and tension, all of your consciousness. Every thought you're thinking now, you thought in the past, or expect to think of the future, and bring it to this pinky finger. And just simply breathe. Finding the nowness in the moment. And realizing that every day is a good day. And this is true for as long as we don't define what good means. And we embrace that which is in the moment that we're at. Letting go of the rest. Take a soft, easy breath. Feeling the belly expand as you do, the lungs inflate. 
And exhale with ease. This time, let's exhale through the fingertips. Silly as it sounds. Visualize this breath leaving each finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and of course ten. Ten fingers. Inhale and exhale. Feel the breath coming in through your mind's eye, through the third eye. And flush that breath through the face base of neck, shoulders, arms, elbows, wrists, hands, fingertips, and let go of anything that you may have been holding on to, consciously or not, that may no longer be serving you. Let that go. Let that go. The idea of letting go generally thought of as things that have happened in the past and let go. But I also invite you to consider the anxiety caused by the anticipation of future moments. And that we could just as easily let go of that too. Returning us to now, this very good day. Can you breathe a soft, pure breath through the nose? Feel that breath trail along the back of the neck, inflate the lungs. Feel the rib cage expand and the shoulders soften, shoulder blades fall. Leaving the arms to fall into the bosom, the earth beneath, with no needed work to hold them up or place them this way and that, just allowing them to fall with ease. Swirling in through our rib cage and all contained in it from our heart center, Glowing green in color, brightening with each inhale and softening with each exhale. Allowing that breath to come in any way you choose. Invite the destination of that breath to meet at heart center and ask yourself, what do I want? What do I love? What do I want to attract more in? Feel the heart glow. And on the exhale, allow the path of this breath to move from the heart up, 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 in exit where the throat chakra lies. Sending these words out to the universe, blue in color. Pick a font you love and send it out there. Freeing yourself of the burden of holding on to words that perhaps you may never have a chance to speak or perhaps might cause harm violate ahimsa, non-harming, but still freeing ourselves from them, releasing them to the universe for good care. Let's take a nice fresh breath in. 
all the way down to the belly button. As the belly rises and falls with each deep breath, the expansion of our lungs and our diaphragm being massaged with the movement. Settle here for a pause. See the yellow sunshine fall upon this area. Let's take six breaths together. One. Two. Three. Four. Soften through the hips. Your mind's eye to your solar plexus, your belly. You harvest our emotions. Send a nurturing breath this way to comfort and ease. Release and receive and accept and nurture. Find a softness through your jaw and your mind's eyes. You do what we see, how we feel. And thought, word, indeed is an old saying in yoga. Even before that, I guess. Our thoughts, if they match our words, and if they match our deeds, then it's fair to say our thoughts Play the foundation for our character, life experience, moral code, who we are, what we represent, what we think, and how we feel will all circle its way back your solar plexus. Let some sunshine in and be a light to others, illuminating not only your path, but the paths of those who invite you to do so. Let that breath go. Take a soft, easy breath. Invite your attention to the right hip. The bony structure, the fibrous material circling around the bony structure. the flesh beyond. And then just outside of that, where the skin is, what about that space just outside of the skin? Maybe it's just a millimeter out, maybe it's feet, yards, miles. Where do you end and another begin? Consider this as you take a nice inhalation into the left hip. Many of us hold our tension in the hips. It's 
So breathing into this area can be of service. Breathing into the hips. We consider the role of the hips. We're standing in a mountain pose in yoga or on a sidewalk. We're lying flat on the ground. We bend at the hips. We bring our upper body to the lower body. We're feeling playful. Come into a back bend and open up heart center. This can be a most vulnerable pose, of course. Inviting in a safe space. Hinging at the hips forward and back. Imagine as though next time you go to do something as simple as putting on your shoes, that you send a nice energetic breath to the hips, you bend at the hips to put on the shoes. I wonder if that could interrupt a pattern of thought that might not serve you quite as well as finding presence in the moment. Exhale through the hips and let go of anything you may have been holding on to in this area. Inhaling and exhaling, releasing through the glutes in the belly, energy swirling around the trunk of the body, moving its way down to the thighs, the right leg, the left leg, both of our legs, the right thigh. the top of the right thigh. Breathe into this area. Feel the exhalation swirl around the thighs and settle in to the right knee joint. And stop and rest on the right knee. Inhale and exhale with ease. Swirling round the calves and the shin and the calf and the shin and the calf and the shin. Swirling round and round and round and round. Landing for a tender rest on the right ankle. Exhale. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhale, feel a softness trail over the top of the right foot and the heel of the right. Glide a fresh breaths, energy from the heel to the arches, all the way through the base, the right foot, landing on the bottom side of the right big toe. Exhale. Take a soft, easy breath and inhale in this area. Bring your exhale to the toe just beside it. And inhale to the toe just beside it. And exhale to the toe just beside it. And inhale to the toe just beside it. 
And as you exhale, exhale out all that remains through the right pinky toe. Out, 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 out. Allow your foot to simply fall. Breathe into the right leg. And exhale through the right leg. Inhaling to the left leg. Bringing all of your awareness to the top of the left thigh. Swirling the energy round and round and round the left thigh. Swooping in to the knee joint, clearing out any clutter that may remain there and land softly like a butterfly on the left kneecap. Inhaling and exhaling. With your soft, easy breath, swirl the energy round your calves and shin to calf, to shin to calf, to shin to calf making its way to the ankle. Inhaling and exhaling. Soft, tender inhale. Take a deep breath to the heel of the left foot. Working its way down to the arch of the sole of the left foot to the base of the foot to the left big toe. Inhale with soft ease and exhale with soft. Inhaling into the toe beside it. And beside it. And beside it. And beside it. Exhale through the pinky toe of the left foot. The left foot. Grounded towards Mother Earth. The symbiotic relationship of grounding and centering and receiving and taking that in which you need, but perhaps no more. Send that energy over to the right foot to do the same. Connecting with Mother Earth. Grounding and centering, receiving and taking that in what you need, but no more. And giving that in which you're able, but no more. Finding the moment in presence. It is a good day. Swoop that inhalation in through the soles of the feet, the outline of the left and the right foot that make up the feet. Carry that breath around the right and left ankle, swooping round and round, energizing and renewing. Invite a new breath now 
swirling from the ankle up the calves and shins, round and round, and round, releasing any pain or tension, particularly around the knee joints, the right and left knee, continuing up through the thigh, the right and left back. Breathing a nice deep breath in, honoring and exhaling through the legs. Coming to the pelvis. Take a soft, easy breath into this area. and a gentle release through this area. Honoring our base, our root, our foundation, our sense of safety. Breathe here for a moment. And seek some creativity located just above sacral sacra, orange in color, sensuality, creativity, our playfulness. Can we get creative to find safety in our existence so that we can trust the future moments and learn from those that have since passed and simply live within the present the present moment is all that is real. Inhale and exhale. Moving the energy swirling around the torso, the chest, passing up that solar plexus, working its way towards our center, illuminating green with a fresh new breath. We sunlight, exhale softly. The trunk of the body. Find this way to the front of the neck, throat chakra. Font is in blue, sending the words out to the universe, what needs to be said. What do you need to ask for? What do you need to forgive others, yourself? A thing, a time, a place. And you ask to find presence in the moment and receive the good day. Exhale in this space. Swooping up energy to power it through the fingertips, the hands, the arms, the elbows, the shoulders, clavicle bone that meets the base of the neck and exits, exits, exits through the neck, throat chakra. Moving it up into the mind's eye, through the jaw and the face and the eyes and the brows and the ears and each of the teeth in your mouth and the tongue. Through the nose, under the nose, above the eye, through the brows and the forehead and the ears just between the brows and up a smidge. Ask the universe for two things, to see what you need to see and to be able to receive that. Inhaling and exhaling. Is it a good day? Exhale in this area. 
starting at the soles of your feet, swooping through your legs and your torso. Find the energy swirls around your arms and your neck and your head and press all that remains up through your crown chakra and allow yourself to connect. Plug in. Feeling the connection between the reception of the crown chakra and the grounding of the soles of the feet or sitting through the root chakra. Up and down the spine, the energy goes. Take a soft, easy breath now. Begin to return to the awareness in the room. You may continue to lie as long as you would like. Your eyes closed, jaw softened, your limbs relaxed. Your belly full. Feeling the love and the light that is all around you, the inner connectedness and oneness of us all. Namaste.